This matchup usually spells trouble with a capital T. This time, the T could stand for Terry, Terry Brands, a world champion in 1993 and 1995. Brands gives Corey Bays a first-hand look at real trouble. Because it is going to be Terry Brands against Corey Bays, and, and Corey Bays is really having a tough time lately, Tom. What, Tim? Well, he's got his dauber down. He's lost uh, five or six of the last seven or eight, and anytime that happens, that's tough. And so this is a big match for both wrestlers. So it's, it's, it seems to be a mental thing, and there it is again. In comes Terry Brands to take Corey Bays for a takedown, and Bays, having a tough time, starts out on the bottom. 2 nothing in favor of Terry Brands, one of those, the terrible twosome from Sheldon, Iowa. Well, I'd say that uh, looking at the intensity of Terry Brands, uh, he definitely wants this one. Terry Brands will be at 118, and Tom Brands at 126. We were told that it may very well be Steve Martin would wrestle one of these weekend meets against Arizona State, now it looks like, and Terry Brands will wrestle the other. Bays is out. It's now 2-1. to one. Well, you see Terry Brands really trying to control the head, work a snap, spin around, something like that, but he's up controlling the head to set up his shots. The first period, if you remember, is three minutes long in each match. Give, no the second and third are two there's minutes a, long. There's a difference in size here, Doug. Terry Brands obviously has to cut a little bit more weight than Corey Bays. Corey Bays is a small but powerful 118-pounder. Terry Brands just cuts a little bit of weight to get down there, so he's a big 118-pounder. He looks a lot bigger than Bays from where we sit. It, you know, you, it's hard to believe how much bigger one wrestler at the same weight can be than another one, but it's it's true. Well, five hours ago, they were the same weight, but a lot can happen in five hours to someone that came down 15 pounds. Terry Brands leads two to one. And we're just started here. The Cowboys against the Hawkeyes. And Bays snapped down and beaten to the draw again. Well, he's not only snapping him down, he is stopping the motion of Corey Bays, stopping him right in the tracks and then just spinning around. Bays is going through a really tough period and, and it just seems to be to slow people down. And Brands is not the kind of guy you want to be slow against. No, not at all. And he is really good at stopping that opponent's motion. Look at Dan Gable. Right here, you watch Bays shooting in. Terry Brands stops the motion, stuffs the head and spins around. He gets... Corey Bays out of position. It was a classic takedown. Good job by Terry Brands for two points. He has 42 seconds of riding time as well. But Bays is hard to hold. Four to two. He's out. One point for the escape. That's Terry Brands with the front headlock. Corey Bays is used to sit out series in both his uh, escape and now the score four to two. But Terry Brands certainly has established himself on the feet so far early in this match. You hear referee Dennis Barr telling them they're on the edge. That's Joe C. He hasn't liked what he's seen so far. There again, Brands in on a low single. Looks like Bays is in a good position to counter this time. Nice scramble. Gets the crowd fired up. These Brands uh, twins don't seem to back up much, do they? No, they come right at you, and they'd like to control the upper body to set up lower leg shots, Doug, and that's what that shows a lot of maturity early in their career. But right here, I think that it's a matter of can Terry Brands keep this going throughout the seven-minute match after a, a large weight loss? We'll see. Corey Bay is a senior from Putnam City in Oklahoma. He's an All-American. Terry Brands, in his first year of competitive wrestling at the college level as an official starter, in on a low single, looking good, looking good, two points. He has Bays on his back at the end of the period, two point near fall. Woo. Right here on the shot, he gets the ankle low. Drives in towards the torso, the hips right there. Takes the power away from Corey Bays. Now he's driving into him, and you can see he has control. Terry Brands does, and looking for the two-point back points. He was close to being stuck, Doug. He really was, and now he's on the mat, complaining about an injury. 
and the Oklahoma State trainer is out there. We had a, we were talking before the meet, TJ and I, about the feeling we had watching the Iowa team warm up. You know, after a while, you sort of get a feeling about the way things are. They seem very loose. Well, I thought they looked really loose. I thought they looked like maybe the cat that swallowed the canary, and they knew that tonight was their night. It, you know, obviously we don't know that right now. I'm just saying that they looked like yeah. a real loose bunch. Not only the wrestlers, but the coaches. Now right here, here's a replay again. Look at that low ankle. He controls it, but the most important thing is he's controlling the hips. He cuts across to a double, controls the hips, and now he knows where he's at. He gets the two. Now he's going to turn into his back, right, with his back pressure. And he did. He almost caught Bayes and stuck him right there. He's an exciting close. wrestler. He's really explosive, and he's done something that's really in his favor, as I talked about cutting weight. Okay, it was Bayes' choice. He had this choice, and he decides to start under to try to make an escape to come out for a point. He's down 8-2. to two. He's got a large lead. 8-2 to two for Brands. He's trying to catch Brands head back in there and, and sit out. He hasn't been able to do it. Brands is tough in there and with it. Well, he follows the arms. Brands follows the arms so well. He has more than a minute of riding time. Here comes Bayes. First really quick move he's made for a reversal. 8-4. The escape goes to Brands, makes it 9-4. Oklahoma State against Iowa. A youngster in his first year against a senior. And the freshman is in charge right now, 9-4. And Bayes knows he has to just go at it. Well, we said Iowa, the way things are going, could win these first three matches. And well, I really think they have to establish a good pace here in the first three matches. Brands is very strong, but give Bayes credit. He countered that one well. He, he was almost in trouble. Bayes. Well, Bayes has the arm trapped. And he couldn't get quite around. Bayes is a real smart wrestler. He's a big eight All-American team last year. He carries a very high grade point. He's a really All-American kid all the way around. Corey Bayes is. But he came in, lost his position again. Brands has been able to control him in that position. Here's a nice high crotch move by Bayes. Can Brands counter it? No points yet. Nice move by Bayes, but nicer move by Brands. Counters and out. No points. Because after all, Corey Bayes has to make up five. We have a, just a few seconds to go in the second period. If you just tuned in, you're in time to see everything except the first two periods of 118. Nine to four. In favor of Terry Brands, a freshman who's in at 118 tonight for the Hawks. He's going to start in the bottom in the third period. Bayes is going to let him out. 10 to 4. Because he wants to try something from the feet. But Brands is in very quickly. Well, I'll tell you what. He beat Corey Bayes to the draw right there. Now, Corey's coming out, but not quite. That was a good series right there for Terry Brands. He just That's literally it. beat Corey Bayes to the draw. Got that ankle, low single. Finally That's ended up with the two points. You know, here's an All-American out there against the freshman, and we're talking possible major decision now. Well, we're talking about how full Dan Gable's stable is because as far as we know right now, this may be, may not be the 118-pounder that's wrestling for Iowa in the NCAAs, right? That's right. Brands with his strength sucks Bays back. He still has that arm barred on the edge of the mat. And even though he's way out high, he's been controlling Bays all the way. Look at Dan. Gable is really. Up high for this meet. And I think one has uh, the feeling that he. Feels his team is going to do well. Maybe they had a good week in practice. Well, right now, Terry Brands is sitting on a major decision. Doug. He is. And that was unexpected. This no, is unexpected. Absolutely. By us. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe the Terry Hawkeye, Brands. Yeah, maybe Terry Brands didn't. 
it isn't a surprise to him. The way he's wrestling, it's probably not. And he has more than two minutes of riding time against Bays. Corey Bays has gone through probably the lowest point of his wrestling life, having lost six of his last seven for no reason that he can think of. He's just walking into a buzzsaw. See how well Terry Brands follows the arms right there. Casts over, stays behind the arms. It's a good lesson for young wrestlers. You've got to stay behind the arms. And if you stay behind the arms, you're going to be a heck of a rider, just like Terry Brands is doing. Two and a half minutes of riding time right here, all the time. And you're looking at the future of Iowa wrestling with this Terry Brands and soon his brother Tom coming up. Now Bays wanted to switch, but Brands is just putting it to him, and it's going to end right here. It is a major decision. Riding time makes it 13 to 4, and the Hawks are off to a, a major win. Right behind his brother Terry in the Iowa lineup came Tom Terrific. Tom Brands turned a toss-up match between the Hawkeyes and Cowboys into a battle Kendall Cross might just as soon have missed. Here's what we told you about in the beginning of our show. It's Tom Brands, the twin brother of Terry Brands you just saw against Kendall Cross, number two ranked junior from Mustang, Oklahoma, who is very good and just showed why. He's in on a low single right away, but countered beautifully by Brands. This is gonna be a tussle. You know, don't the Brands boys' intensity remind you a lot of someone that's coaching him in the room a lot named Barry Davis? Yeah, I remember him. If you've forgotten about him, that's a intentionally, it's considered uh, and presto, there he is. dangerous. That's Barry Davis. One of the most intense, if not the most intense wrestler I've ever seen, very successful, two-time Olympian Barry Davis, now an assistant coach with Iowa. And you know he's on the mat with the Brands boys every night. Well, I'll tell you what. A few minutes ago, we saw him over there, and he was sitting down. I guess he's sitting down right now. Yeah, he might make a note of that. There is Brands in on a single, and he does get the takedown. That was a quickie. Holy cow, the Hawks are starting out like a house of fire. Right here, he gets in on the single leg. Boy, is he quick. I mean, I don't know whether he was that quick, but he's quick. <laughs> Now we're back to the action again with a score two to nothing. Kendall Cross on the bottom, Oklahoma State's second ranked man, but Brands, Tom Brands, has come to uh, ranking number five. The escape makes it two to one. So Kendall Cross is going to be in a tough one. He knows it. Well, both of these wrestlers have been wrestling the best competition in the nation, and as we talked beforehand, they've wrestled Jim Martin twice from Penn State. Each of them losing once, but each of them tying once. Jim Martin, the national champion from last year, and these two fellas have tied him already this year. It's going to be a barn burner in the NCAAs this year at 126. Cross came in with a nice low single, but Brands was able to whizzer it, that overhook with the arm, and he's in the position of equality again. There were no points scored at all. There's a heel pick by Brands. Another quick takedown makes it 4-1. to one. Well, he put Kendall Cross down, and he brought the fans to their feet. That was a great little heel pick right there. Quick again. Did the job for two points. Now Cross whizzers back across the arm. But he wasn't able to escape with it. All he could do was take the, the match out of bounds. Right here, watching. He... he Tapped on the head, dropped down to the ankle pick, and had Cross going back. He didn't even have to drive into him for the two points. Four to one. Tom Brand's twin brother, Terry, beat Corey Bays in a major decision at 118 pounds. And now Tom is leading Kendall Cross, the second-ranked 26-pounder, four to one. Well, I'll tell you what. Top wrestling, riding, runs in the family here with the Brands because they, he both... Terry and Tom have done outstanding jobs of riding their opponents. Cross stands up, pulls his ankle free, and it's 4-2 now after the escape. You're watching Iowa Public Television's coverage of Iowa and Oklahoma State from Carver Hawkeye Arena. I'm Doug Brown. Tim Johnson is the man who's doing the analysis. In again goes Brand on the high single, but that was on the edge of the mat. That knee snatch over toward the, the boundary, and it 
The good part for the Hawkeye fans happened out of bounds. Well, I think uh, both of these young men can throw. I think Kendall Cross is a very un unorthodox wrestler. He's dangerous and he can throw, so Tom Brands has to be cognizant of that fact that he does not want to put himself in a compromising situation. But so far, he's been taking it to Kendall Cross, and that's the way to defense somebody who is a thrower. And Brands has 59 seconds of riding time. There he is. He is getting the choice, and he decides what he wants. He defers, and Cross decides to take down. He's trailing by two, and escape would make it four to three. Kendall Cross comes from a hometown that just sounds like Oklahoma, huh? Mustang, Oklahoma. Well, one of the real blue chippers a few years ago that Oklahoma State recruited three years ago, and he's really done a lot of freestyling also, and he's a World Cup, Junior World Cup champion. Reaches back with the overhook. Uh, Brands wasn't worried about it. Came right back with his own high single and scored with it, and he leads six to three. Boy, when he's taken Cross down, he's taking him down. Boom! Right now. Well, you know, he's not just taking down an average wrestler. Too. Ooh. Cross has only lost once this year, and that was to Jim Martin, as we talked about. He's an accomplished freestyle wrestler. He was the only American to beat the Russian in the Junior World Cup this last year. He's tough. And Tom Brands, a freshman, is taking it to him right now. Six to three. There's Barry Davis in the white shirt. And uh, Mark Johnson leaning forward to talk. He's another Iowa assistant coach. Brands uh, prevents the uh, overhook this time. You see Cross leaning back to the wizard. But when Brands is controlling the legs like that, Cross can't move, and then he comes up off the legs in time to lose, to avoid losing him, or avoid getting called for uh, inactivity down there. And again, Brands counters Cross's move. Cross wants to be outside shooting from the distance, and Brands likes to get in and counter with it. Cross is coming off a win last night, actually a fall against Dwayne Martin from UNI, and he's just really build up a great record this year and he's probably th thinking to himself right now that he's got to get it going and he's running into something that maybe he didn't expect well it's six to four although oh there's another takedown four takedowns for tom brands four takedowns and his brother had one two three four they're putting on a takedown clinic and, and oklahoma you, state doesn't have any well you notice what they're doing Right here again, he's controlling that arm. It was just a little throw-by by the arm, and then he dropped down, lowered his level, attacked a single, cut off, drove through for a double, and it all comes from motion and a counter. Counter with a score, eight to five, and that's just power. 10 to five with Tom Brands leading. Oklahoma State wrestled against the University of Northern Iowa but wrestlers are used to going on the road and having tough weekend trips. And it's reaching the point at the end of the second period with Brands leading 10 to five on five takedowns and with riding time. Well, that, that man and his assistant We're, we're looking at the Norm Stewart of uh, wrestling right now. He may end up uh, with ulcers, too, like the Missouri basketball coach right, has right now. There's a lot of pressure on Josie, and it's not starting very well for him tonight. Brands went right at Kendall Cross and takes him down, makes it 12 to 5. That's six takedowns for Tom Brands and none for Kendall Cross. He's working on a major decision. Now, Tom Brands is dominating Kendall Cross. It's reached that point in this match. He is actually dominating. Cross hasn't been able to reach him at all. Well, right now, you know, the rankings out of amateur wrestling news change every week. And you can see and why. It again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The way he's dominating. So many good teams get together in February, Doug. This is just an example right here, but you talked about the 
And another takedown, 16 to 7. The second ranked man in the country has been taken down eight times, not for long. That's considered potentially dangerous. Boy, this is this match has turned into one of those look out, here he comes again kind of things. Clock is running with 35 seconds to go in the match. Brands is again in again on that high leg. Well, the Brands twins are definitely one of the most exciting things to happen to Iowa wrestling in the last several years, Doug. Do we have a takedown? We do have a takedown. It's 18 to 8, nine times. And it's 18 to 9 after the escape. Holy cow. The Brands have just dominated Oklahoma State in matches numbers one and two. And there it is, with writing time, three minutes of it, it's 19 to 9.